Hello guys and you're welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can render your scenes from Substance Designer using a software like Blender for instance, so you can have an awesome render where you can showcase your work. Let's go ahead and I'll show you how you can do that. So the first thing we need to do is to export a Substance Archive file. Basically, it's a format that allows you to share your Substance project. And to do that, let's just go to File. If you are on the Explorer, let's click on the Explorer and you have your package that has your materials. So let's just click on that, right click and say publish SBSAR file. And then you find a location to publish your file. So while I just did that, let me just right click this and click on publish this file. I'll click on these three dots here just to find a location where I am actually going to paste that material. So with that done, the next thing we need to do is to download a few plugins for Blender. So I'll open up the web browser and right here I'm on substance3d.adobe.com slash plugins slash substance dash in dash blender slash. So that's where you can actually get the add-on for Blender. And what you need to do is to download these two uh, packages. So first is the Adobe Substance 3D add-on for Blender. Click on download and the Adobe Substance integration tool for your operating system. I'm using a Windows operating system so I'm going to download this for Windows and I'll have these in a handy location. So I have that in my Substance Projects folder and I created a folder called Blender add-ons and I left these two add-ons in there. Don't uh, extract them, unzip or unwrap them. So I'll just leave them as they are and I'll just go ahead and open up Blender. So with Blender opened up, what we need to do is to go over to edit, go to the preferences and right here, let's click on the add-ons. So I'll just click on that and click on install the add-on. So what you're going to do is to just scroll over to where you've downloaded those files. And I believe I call this, what did I call it? Blender add-on, there it is. So it's actually here. So first, this is the first one you click, the Adobe Substance 3D for Blender. If I click on that and it's, I'm going to say install the add-on. Now I have that add-on already. So I'm just going to type here. So if I search for Blender, I'm going to get the Adobe Substance 3D add-on for Blender. And I'll just click this drop down arrow. So next, what you're going to do is to just scroll down a bit. And it's going to ask you to install the integrations file. So in case you don't have that integrations file, it's going to add you, tell you to install those integration files and you install that file. To uninstall the tool, just click on the uninstall tools and you should actually have that uh, tool over here like so and it's working. You can also do things like change the resolution and set the tiling. So for my default tiling, I'm just going to set this to one, basically saying no tiling. And for the resolution, I'm going to start at a 2K resolution. I'm going to leave everything uh, where it is. Another thing you'd also want to see is the uh, where you have your SBS ARR path files. I have them in a folder called SBS files and that's where this document is going to be located. So like I said, if you don't have the Substance Integration, it's going to ask you to click on the Substance Integration tool. So here you can actually see, thank you for installing the Substance Integration tool. If I click on Uninstall tool, it's going to ask me to download, but I'll just click Install from Disk and I'll go over to where I have the Substance Blender files and I have that at the Blender add-ons. So here is the Substance 3D Integration tools. So click Install tools and you should actually have that same information down here. So I already have it and that's fine. And also what you need to do is just make sure you've clicked on the add-on to have that add-on available. And basically those are the simple steps to have that add-on. Now to see where that add-on is, you can just click on this arrow or press N and you can actually see the Substance 3D file here. You can also go into the Substance Community Assets or the Substance 3D Assets website or you can just click on load to load an asset. So what I'm going to do is to quickly create a shape tool. So I'll just go to mesh and create a plane and I'll just type in S to scale this plane just a little bit. And what I'll do is to go over and switch over to the edit mode and I'll just right click and subdivide this so I can have some nice resolution. I think that resolution is super fine. I can also do this by applying a modifier, but I'll just leave this 
the way it is right here just to have some additional details now I have this object here and if I go to my materials I don't have a material assigned here so I'll go ahead and load in a SBSAR file my SBS files and I'll click on the mod material SBS and I'll click on load and this is actually going to load that material so because I have this plane selected what it's going to do is to load this material on this plane and we can see here it says this is created so what I'll do is to set the tiling to 1 and I'll set my resolution to a 2k resolution so 2048 and I'm, I'm not able to I'm not seeing anything because I'm not in my render view so just to do that I'll switch over to the viewport shading and click on this viewport right here and what I'll quickly do is to set the render engine to cycles and just give it a few seconds to keep on doing the calculation and the rendering so if I head over to my materials right here you can actually see we've not assigned this material but if I click on this material drop down we can actually see the mod material right here so I've assigned the mod material to this object and we can actually see that in the scene so uh, let's go ahead and close this so I can just close this by uh, I can apply this and then press N to close that view and then what's just left next is to do the regular rendering with Blender if I click on the render scene I'm not getting any lights so it's kinda dark so let's go ahead and fix that so to fix this what I'll quickly do is to go over to my walled properties and right here on the color I'll use an environment texture to set the color I'll just go ahead and open and an HDRI file I've actually downloaded and saved you can go to HDRI Haven to download HDRI files I just want to use that to light this uh, scene right here with this uh, object and HDRI images I'll just use this Prut Sunrise and I'll click OK and we should actually see our scene trying to render right here so what I'm going to do is to just slightly optimize this view so I'll go back to the render properties and I'll scroll down to where it says film I'll set this to transparent so we can only just you know we don't need to see the entire shader like so and what I'll do is to go over to color management and on the look I'm going to set this to a high contrast just to give this a nice contrast also what I'll do is to click on the camera because the camera is going to contain the view we want to render so I'll click over here to open this setup just the right arrow here and I'll click on the view and what I'll do is to click on lock camera to view so basically uh, this is going to uh, so view lock camera to view and I'll just press N to leave this view basically if I do this now the camera is going to show me the objects or the scene I'm going to render like so so I'll just drag the camera to this nice view over here basically this is the region I want to render if that's not okay you can always zoom in and make changes to this so I'll just select this and this is a very rough render setting so if I kind of like, like this view so what I need to do is go to render and I'll click on render image and this is going to take a little bit of time just a few minutes because it's just one scene although the resolution is high I'm going to wait for this to export down here to this sample so basically this is that screen sample that I'm going to export so I'll go ahead and pause the video and once this is done I'll just save this out and show you what we have right here so now with our render done I can see there's some slight errors especially these triangulated edges I'll just show you how you can quickly fix that and because this is a well, was a quick tutorial I just wanted to quickly show you those results so I'll just go over to image and go to save just to save out this render and we can pick anywhere we want to keep this image I'll just put this on the desktop and I'll just call this our final render and then quickly I'll just save that uh, image and close our render view so if I get back to blender I just want to show you how you can uh, get rid of that uh, issue so the first thing first things first the way I did this was to kind of like just go to my edit mode so I'll just go over to this view here 
uh, plane view and I'll get rid of this view. So I just created a plane and then went into my edit mode and added these subdivisions. A good way to actually do this is to add a subdivision surface modifier. So this is a subdivision surface and it's actually cooler to do this because this is non-destructive and what you can do is to turn up the render to like 4 and then set up the levels in the viewport display to like 4 as well. This is going to add those additional details to the object and when, when you're done, let's get back to our object mode. When we're done with adding those details, I simply just went over here and applied those uh, high resolution details for this object. So remember the more faces your object has, the better that object is going to look like. If I turn on the wireframe, we can see this is a very, very dense model and you would actually, you know, you're going to stay away and escape those uh, complications that happen when you try to render this. The downfall is that you're going to have so much, you know, polygons and you just have to strike a balance between your polygon uh, density and details. I'll just go over and get rid of the wireframe. And that's going to help, you know, the, uh, that's going to help you set up that uh, display. Also, there are a lot of tools and settings here. I'll set this to my GPU compute because I have an NVIDIA card so that it works with my uh, GPU. That also improves the speed and performance of your rendering. So well, once you're done with your render, I'll just go ahead and show you a few examples of some of the renders I've had set out. So this is before I rendered and this is some of the uh, setups for the render. So this is using a different HDRI. So your HDRI lighting is going to kind of like show different lighting setups. So, but this is a uh, output, a final output, another output, another final output. I really like this one. And this is also another output from a top view. And this is another output I really like as well. So uh, yeah, so that's how you can take your projects from Substance Designer, export them as SBSAR archive files, where you can share to the uh, Substance community. And also you can import this asset into Blender, attach it to a model to create your scene and props, and then you can render this out so you can have a nice model for your Instagram or your art station. So uh, if this was helpful, give a thumbs up, Please do like and subscribe to the channel so I can create more content like this. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.